Hello ladies and gents and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be bringing you a nighttime neutral look featuring again the beautiful Naked Sea palette. So excited to use it and because there are so many eyeshadows, <clears throat> like I said, look for every day of the week, I can't get by without doing another tutorial and not using this palette. So today I've incorporated a nighttime look. <clears throat> with a vampy lick, lip lick, lip look. That's a tongue twister. <laughs> Again, another huge lip trend this fall. Love vampy lips. It's just another take on the beautiful classic red lip. I'm going to be using the beautiful, um, sorry, it's kind of dirty. Um, the beautiful re, 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 woo, woo. Another tongue twister. <laughs> this is very, very similar to Ruby Woo. So if you have Ruby Woo, go grab it and you can do this look. Don't be upset if you don't have Ruby Woo because it's exact same, exact same shape. <clears throat> and then again, the beautiful Night Moth lip liner that I have showed you in my like my plum lip tutorial. Um, because it's so dark, it's so perfect in creating that vampy lip look. So I'm going to be using products that I've already shown, but that's a good thing because if you went out and bought those products based on recommendation or tutorials, you'll have another way to use them. So yay me, yay you. Okay, we're good. I'm gonna be showing you eyes and lips, just so you can focus on just those. You've seen me do my blush and bronzer, which I already have blush and bronzer on, so you're, that part's not gonna be a a part of the tutorials um, but if you do like me doing blush and bronzer let me know and I will put those in my videos but just for this one we're just gonna be focusing on the neutral nighttime eye look and the vampy lips so I hope you enjoy stay tuned make sure to subscribe and like and thumbs up if you liked it and we'll see you next time love you bye Okay, I'm going to prep for my makeup and apply a lip butter to my lips to make them nice and soft by the time we do my lips. Now, taking an eyelash curler, I'm going to curl my lashes for when we do my mascara. Now, taking Too Faced Shadow Insurance, I'm going to apply that evenly all over my lid to prime my eyes. Now, taking Tease, a mauve matte brown shade, I'm going to apply that as my transition color with a Sigma E40 blending brush. Now taking the color Chopper, which is a beautiful coppery shimmery tone shade that really brings out um, brown eyes. It really brings out a caramel or honey tone in brown eyes. I'm going to apply that to my entire lid. Now taking the color Pistol, a grayish brown frosty shade, I'm going to apply that to the corner of my eyelid and take a blending brush and blend those into my transition color. Now taking the color Busted, a burgundy deep brown frosty shade, I'm going to use that to deepen and define my outer V area and blend that into the other colors. Now taking Half Baked, this beautiful light golden shimmery color, I'm going to apply that under my eyes. Now taking the color Verb, which is a shimmery white shade, I'm going to apply that with my finger to the inner parts of my eyes to help open up and bring out my eye color. Now taking the color Foxy, this beigey matte highlighting shade, I'm going to use that under my brow to highlight my eyes. and just blend this blackout in my outer V area just to deepen up the crease and blend it out. Now taking Maybelline Line Stiletto, I'm going to make a wing and line my upper lash line and help make my eyes stand out. Now taking MAC Select Moisture Cover Concealer, I'm going to use that to clean up my under eye area and conceal any dark circles and just blend that out with my fingertips. Now taking Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara, I'm going to apply this to my upper and lower lashes. Now 
Now taking Night Moth Lip Liner, I'm going to start out by defining my Cupid's bow and lining my upper lip. And I'm really concentrating on defining my Cupid's bow. <laughs> now it doesn't look like I have a mustache. I'm going to uh, line my lower lip. And just kind of fill in the inner corners of my mouth. And just brush that all along that bottom. Just sweep it across. Now rub your lips together to evenly distribute the lip liner. And just kind of deepen up the outer corners or the inner corners of my lips. Now taking Ri Ri Woo. I'm going to go over that lip liner and even though my lips kind of look like a hot mess that's okay because I'm going to use this red shade to kind of blend out the darkness from the lip liner. And just go over that dark. And because we're working with two very temperamental shades, make sure you clean up anything that runs off your lips. And I'm just gonna deepen up the inner corners of my mouth again with the Night Moth shade. Now I'm going to apply some more red lipsticks because I kind of lost the shade a little bit. And I'm just going to be taking this moisture cover concealer to kind of manipulate the shape of my lips. And just clean up any of that, any color that ran off my, ran away. Okay, and that was it for the tutorial. Thank you so much for watching. I hope if you like my nighttime neutral look and my classic red vampy lips, then stay tuned for more because you got more coming. And yeah, talk to you next time. Love you. Bye.